today I'm going to show you how to install the RetroPie on the Lee Potato. Stay tuned. So if you go to the Libre Computer website, you'll find this article, which I'll leave a link to it in the description on how to install RetroPie on Lee Potato. This is what we're going to do today. Uh, here are the steps. Here is the download, the uh, imager software. I just used the Raspberry Pi imager. So for this first download, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the Raspberry Pi imager. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's up to you which one to use. They're both free, I think. And this is the Raspberry Pi imager. So here you will choose the operating system. So if you click here, you use, use custom, and then you use the image that we're going to download here from the second link. So this is the image. And if I open this in a new tab, this is the image. We're going to download that. And see here, it's downloading this down here. This is the zip file. Uh, you don't have to unzip it or anything if you're using the Raspberry Pi imager. So yeah, that's that's the image we're going to get from this link. Again, uh, using the Raspberry Pi imager, I'm just going to select that image that I just downloaded. Here, we're going to select your SD card. Make sure your SD card is FAT32 formatted. So you can do that with your Windows or any other software that you can format your SD card into FAT32. Then you click right, give it a little bit of time, and then we're going to go to the Lee Potato and show you how it loads and how the steps. So this is what you need. Your Lee Potato, the micro SD card that we just imaged, an HDMI cable, power supply. Very important that you supply internet via ethernet cable since you're not going to be able to use Wi-Fi. And then don't forget to add a USB mouse and keyboard. So I just finished uh, imaging the SD card. I keep saying SD card. It's micro SD card. I really know that anyway. Um, and then don't forget the ethernet, uh, internet here. And let's power this on uh, for the first time after the imaging is done. Now we completed the image on the micro SD card. We have to run a couple of commands. First time you power off the Lee Potato, I recommend doing a reboot. Uh, the command for that is sudo shutdown dash r now i'll leave the command in the description uh, but i ran into an issue before doing a restart so if you do like a restart then these two commands should run just fine make sure you have internet plugged in after a reboot the first command would be to install the rapid json i'll leave it in the description for you after this one is completed we will run the uh, RetroPie setup. While you run the RetroPie setup, you'll get kind of a screen where you have to follow the prompt. And these are the steps you need to do. So you need to go to ma uh, manage packages, manage core packages, emulation, install from source. It takes about 20 minutes. So I'll skip over this uh, and, and fast forward, but I'll leave these steps in the description for you. After that, we will uh, set up the uh, keyboard or uh, whichever controller you like to use with your uh, Lee Potato as like a gaming controller. So if you have one, you can set that up. For me, I'm just going to set up my keyboard. As you install the RetroPie, you're going to get this window. You click OK here. For this one, you're going to go to Manage Packages. And then here, you're going to go Manage Core Package. And then here, we're going to go to Emulations. And then install from source. So this installation will take about 
20 minutes or so, or that's what they say on the article. We'll just wait it out. Installation done, you'll see the screen. You don't need to do anything here. Just do control C to exit out of it. And then here you see you exit to the command line and all you have to do here is a uh, reboot. So we'll do uh, sudo shutdown dash r and now and that will reboot your pie or lay potato in this case there it is so now after this loads it's going to ask us to set up the controller or the keyboard in this case so here it says hold any button on your device to configure so i'm just going to hold uh, the keyboard and here we can just configure the keyboard as my controller so you see here like I can press for up and then I can press for down left right so on and so forth and then I'm setting up a keyboard you can set up uh, whichever controller you like there it is I just completed setting up my keyboard as the controller in part two of this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, add your games to the RetroPie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.